Okay, for the final drawing for the first day of class, you are gonna lay down, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect at all, um, but you're gonna lay down a grid over your sheet of paper. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing vertical lines um, <clears throat> across the horizontal part. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do horizontal lines across the vertical part. Okay, so again, you, the lines don't have, you can just see that the lines don't have to be perfect, but you're gonna end up with a grid and the, the shapes, the squares and the grid should be approximately like one, one to two inches, something like that, okay? Um, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna start working, you're gonna start creating a drawing where everything comes out of the grid. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So just think of it as the grid, as the foundation for the drawing. Okay, so again, there's no right or wrong to this. You're just using it as kind of the fact, because everyone's going to end up, all of you are starting with the same template, which is basically vertical and horizontal lines, which are forming a grid on your sheet of paper. And this is your picture plane again, remember? And the grid has gone to the edge of your, of your picture plane, so you've broken all the edges of the actual picture plane. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start, like, using the grid as the structure for whatever I do with the drawing. And, and so I'm trying to like connect different parts like this. Um, I'm not really thinking too much about what I'm doing, but you can see that I'm, I'm, I'm actually using the structure again of the grid itself. So that started there, that started there. So. Um, I'm not just drawing kind of randomly like this. I'm trying to create kind of a geometric abstraction out of this grid like this. Okay, and then you can also, there can be parts where you're like, oh, I want to take out like sections of the grid in terms of shape like this. So I made this a lot lighter here. I took that whole section out. I took that section out. Um, but, but what's happening is, is, again, like I said, all of you are starting off with this as the foundation and the template, and you're all going to end up with different results. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to draw a line through here, right down the center. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna just use my eraser to start. So all my moves that I'm making in this drawing are making off of where I started with the grid. Okay, and so now within these squares, and now I'm decided that I wanna start making some circles and random spots in some of the squares. Okay, but again, they're all following the grid. And now I think I'm gonna like fill in a few like this, and then there's gonna be over some over here that are going right to the edge of the picture plane here, like this. Um, and then I'm gonna use my eraser again to come through here and take out some lighter areas. So again, you, uh, there's, there's no right or wrong for this. You're just using, you're starting off with the starting point of the grid as the foundation, and then you're gonna start just <clears throat> really thinking about, what you're basically doing is you're creating a drawing out of how you wrote, how you, the structure of the grid, and then it's going to become compositional because you've, you're using the edges of the picture plane like you did in the, in the prior drawing before this one. <clears throat> um, and then you're just going to see where it takes you, um, you know, where you end up. And again, try to spend about 45 minutes on this last drawing. And that, this is basically the last drawing for, for the first class. Um, and again, if you have any questions or issues, just know that Tessa and I are always uh, here to help you. Great.